There we go. There we go. Okay. Welcome to ABC One Two Three Trader. Today is January 29, two thousand twenty-one, and let's see if we can see what we can do in the markets. And I'm going to show you a reflection from yesterday. I was talking to some people. They said, "I guess I lost my stream." I'm not sure if I did or not, but anyways, welcome, and uh, we'll go from there. And I'm going to switch over to. This risk disclaimer and the risk disclaimer always says you got it when you're trading it's you are responsible about your your own money and I'm not responsible and this is for educational purposes only so you can kind of understand of what I'm looking at basically and hopefully you can get some ideas for trading in the futures market unless if you're in the stocks and everything there'll be a discussion board as well so Let's just switch it over, and I'm going to give you a bit, a little bit of interesting insight today. And something, if you saw my lost trade, and then I did a video up of, of the recoup trade, and I'm not sure if I uploaded the third trade when I finished the day. Anyways, let's go with trade live here, and we will go from there. I got no camera today. Go figure. Let me just get my camera camera working here. And I'll find out why my camera's not working. Camera. Let's get the properties. There we go. Ooh, what an ugly face. Anyways. There I am. I'll check my trade laptop. There you go. Anyways, morning everybody, Mr. Mike here, and uh, I'm going to go through uh, one of my trades yesterday that I screwed up on, and then, because I'm trying to only show you guys one trade a day, it's, I, I'm finding it difficult for myself to trade live, educate at the same time, because I'm trying to, I'm trying to educate you guys while I'm trying to get my trades going and it's it's tough when you when you have more focus when you're by yourself it's a lot easier to trade but with that being said um, I will show you what I screwed up on and then and I'll show you what I did to recoup my funds plus extra alrighty uh, the reason why I came on early today is just I want to show you a little bit of uh, I want to tell you one thing on the discord just to give you a warning, if you guys are on the Discord, I got a message today from a guy. I'm going to move it here. Uh, I got a message from one of these users here. I just I just kicked him off for 24 hours. But it looks like he was trying to scam. He came up to me saying, oh, I've got crypto money that's locked away, yada, yada, yada. And can you log in for me and I'll give you 30% of the funds. Yeah, no. Nah. That ain't happening, not on my channel. They're not gonna let these guys scam. So, and also in, in the future, what um, what I want to do is I was I go for my morning walks, and I was just reflecting, and I'm really tempted to try to get a twenty, almost a twenty-four hour trade channel, but I need traders to take these hours. Of course, I can't do it twenty-four hours. So I'm looking for Asian session. I would try to go on Reddit to that Wall Street guys because I really like what happened the past few days to see how, you know, kick it to those guys. And I, I wanted to put a post in there, but I guess I don't have enough karma, I guess. I don't I don't use Reddit, so I don't know what that I don't know how to use it that well. So I'm gonna be putting I'm gonna be putting it out there eventually to get traders. Hopefully I can find enough traders or certain blocks of the hours that they want to try to educate as well. And I can have a brain trust so we can get these methodologies out there for you guys. That's what I'm planning to do. If it works out. But now let's get into the details of the trading itself. 
Hold on, I better put an announcement on, on the Discord saying I'm on live. Because someone says I can't find you happy. So I'll just say going live. Just a second here. Enjoy. Okay, this this uh purple line here. The line in the sand. I'm using the swing scanner, daily chart. And what with the swing scanner daily chart, as you're seeing here, I got so many little these boxes from smaller time frames, I'll clean that up later. Sure. Is the reason why I have the line here is because I have one little hiccup on my daily chart because the they close at three o'clock. I'd switch it just to a 15 minute. And this is the line of the sand here. So what I do is I just create a horizontal line. Uh, did I lock it? Yeah, I did. And I just made it really thick so I know now we're in the buying phase. And isn't it amazing? As soon as this time actually hit, how it vibrated and then popped. Now, of course, we're taking support and resistance, and now she's vibrating again. Yeah, it's just, can't make this up, guys. So, on the four-hour chart, good morning, Yashom. I just wish I knew who's on I should make a real thing. If you guys are coming online, everybody says hello, so I know so we get different viewers half the time. So, with that being said, let's, let's go back to it. So, this is the whole Reddit section which is just amazing i just love it i love how they play these games and i kind of feel sorry if, if robin hood and them are blocking them so they can't work on that game stop app or whatever but it is what it is and let them play this game so what we're looking for today let's see if these times are still working 11 to 9 worked 9 actually failed really hardcore that was that whole whole uh, gig from uh, the whole reddit scenario uh, I kicked him for 24 hours because I want to see if he comes back and says bad things about me so I want to find out so anyways from 8 o'clock to 1 o'clock it did punch up look how beautiful that is 1 o'clock to 4 a.m. perfect and now from 10 from 10 till 8 so we're going to see if it's going to be a, a sell off again because it's really volatile, guys. It's actually fun trading it with. Very high risk sometimes. And it's so probably if you saw me losing some money, but I, then I did a quick video that I gained it back. But now what I'm going to show you is where my error was. Okay? And I, Jose and I, we actually traded, and it works. It's great. So we're, we're pinpointing even better now. Okay, so I'm going to transition. Let me go to the OBS here. Boom. I'm going to transition. So I put a post out there that I updated this ind indicator this morning. Right here. I'm going to change this. I don't like pink. I should have made it brown or red or crimson or something. I want a stronger color. Okay. So this ener these energy bars, what we're looking for it all depends. I'm using it on a 5,000 volume because it's very volatile. Holy, there's a lot of change. Lot of change. I don't know if you can hear these stupid horns. Just give me a second here, guys. I'll just leave it for now. So I'm using a 5,000 volume on NQ because these bars, okay, you think about it. If you're using, if you're using micros, great. Look at this movement, 5,000, 80 points. It's huge, okay? It, for me, it's fun. From here to here, $1,000. Another $1,000 swings, right? They're, they're quite volatile. So we really try to get to try to pinpoint these areas. What I'm looking at is not earlier in the day, because you can see this thing is pushing up, weakening, ready to drop and as you can see from this bar here we could have took the cell very tight but what i'm going to do where i screwed up yesterday let's... yes i did see this bull run here that's insane 
which is nice to see. Yeah, if, if he starts doing that again, I will ban him permanently. So right at, not, I'm not going to do 943, 946. I said I waited for my 10 o'clock trade. And the trade that I tried to do was at 10 o'clock for the pullback. And if you saw my video, I was up 200 and then I let it ride for a while, thinking I was going to hit the top. And I, I ate it hard. Then I shut her down. I said my one trade for the day to show live. And then I realized, as soon as that, I looked at it saying, why did it not work for me? And then I realized I forgot to look at this energy bar down here. And that was my screw up. Because I was looking at, I'm going to transition again. Because when I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to think, you know, 20 different things at once. Remember, I'm a guy, I can't multitask. So, there we go. I'm going to go to a different chart here. It's this one here. There we go. Let's focus it. See, yeah, it's negative territory, so it looks like it might go down. And we're in Market Maker here. What I was trying to do yesterday, is this, and it did work, and I should have cashed up really quickly. But I always say around 10 o'clock and 45 seconds that we're finding out. So 10 o'clock, where was it? 10, 10 01, 45 seconds. Is this yesterday's? Yeah, I kept them going out. Okay. I was thinking it was getting, no, that's 10 05. So 10 o'clock, 45 seconds. It did pull down really quickly. See, uh, once, uh, where was it? 10 o'clock, or was it the other way? And 10 45, maybe. It, yeah, see, it went this way, and this is actually a few hundred dollars profit, and then I, I, I ate my lunch. But what I I should have done, I should have looked, and I'm going to move this over to the other screen so you can understand what I'm trying to do here. Transition. Boom. Because I'm doing high volatility with, with NASDAQ. Jose said he likes the minute bars better for, for pinpointing, so... Let me just uh, find out where it was. Okay, so it looks like 1016, 1019, 1022. Okay, there we go. There's that 1022. That's correct. So as, as soon as you go up, this is where the 1022 was. And see this pullback? That video I showed was when I got into this, as soon as it started weakening energy, I took this trade down for the 700 to this volume point of control. There was a volume point of control at that time. So let me go control trade here so you can understand. So I looked at the morning. I put it on there. Where was it? The volume point of control at the time. No, before then. Just before then. It was... At that time, I was trying to shoot for here, and I saw it get close, and then I was not seeing the stop. I was getting hit, and then I saw the vibration, and then I shut her down. And that was, I think it was around, my video showed $700, somewhere around there. 55 points, so maybe I got a little bit with the bounce back here and shut her down. So that's what I was looking at. So what we were doing, and the way we do it, let's read it by on, I'm on that screen. There or this one? Big transition here. There we go. So what we're trying to do, guys, is we only we look at always at the top of the hour, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock, whatever. So we know, and I'm gonna go to and we also use time time scanner as well for verification, but I want to get into a longer longer time frame here so eight o'clock look how ugly that was but they uh, this is 80 in the morning i'm eastern Saturday time so let's go to this is this morning there's there's look at they're knocking everybody out again it's market makers those ugly guys okay uh yesterday 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 okay 15 minutes in there's your bounce top of the hour 10 o'clock went up Okay, that was their push. Even though it wasn't as zigzaggy, 
10 20 10 40 let's see where it was 11 o'clock 11 o'clock peak remember i tell you guys look at this if we if you just sat back and waited till it got to the zone top of the hour 11 o'clock here we go 11 5 10 15 this is the area of interest and away we go now let's take a look at 11 15 transition 11 15 let's see where we are is that today's or yesterday's let me just check something here 28 28 see doesn't look like the big boom, but this was 45 minutes here, guys, right here. We would have got it from here, and they, even if you go to the moving average, wherever you feel, feel safe. 11.15 was 3.10.15, so we were literally actually right there on our trade. And there's the red bar, pull down. $700 once again, and the see how it's red? On the peak, we can get in. Boom. And you can watch your energy if you really want to see if this thing's reversing from here too. Or right here, you probably get freaked out right on this zone here. Very true, Isham. There are 30 direct, 30 minute directional moves for sure. But I'm just looking right now, I was trying to keep it as simple as possible for the one minute, or not one minute, but the one hours, because we know, um, and there's also on the four hours too, right? It all depends who's looking at what. Yeah. So what we're trying to do is, let's go back a few days, because uh, I'm not going to trade until 8 o'clock, or 10 o'clock, I mean, sorry. I always... I'm, I'm mountain standard in my head, but I, I'm trading in eastern standard. Okay. Now let's, let's just go back a few days here. Let's go way back a few days. Yeah, that way. Don't eat the bird food. Okay. Let's see what the time is. See, there's that 11 o'clock. Usually 11 o'clock is when the banks play all these games, and then 11 o'clock they decide to their, do the run. Here's 11.15, I bet. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Here you go. Boom. And then we'll look at 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, I bet. 10, there you go. Reversal up. And you said half hour move. That was 15 minute move. 15 minute move. Whip, whip, whip. But when we add this to um, our energies, our, and watch this. Now, let, you know, if I add for fun, this is a one minute chart. Yeah, I don't need that right now. There actually there might be one trade we might do early. I'm gonna see if the if it if it plays around the um the day trend this morning. That will be the only time I'll, I'll uh, jump in right now. And let's go data series, or let's go here once again. I want to put it, I want to do, see all the signals as possible. Oops, it's a little too many. And I might have to add more data. Yeah, I do. Let's go data series. Because we only have 15, I'll go 30 for now. So I need to look at that zone. Oops. Let's go back halfway. Now let's go top of the hour. And then we'll go to 11. See, 9.54 time works perfectly. So when we're coordinating it for the 11.15, there's 11.48. And we'll have to look at our energies. Now I want to look at 10, 11, and 12. Just even numbers for now. And see where we can get in on that time. This one was... We're on a one-minute chart, so this was 10.05, 10.06. There was your 10 o'clock drop, boom, top of the hour. But it, it, but we're going into market maker, guys, so we have to watch, right? So this would have been our trade from going from here to here. But look how they're hitting all these zones perfectly. But I want to show you, if we're patient enough, 
there let's go to 10 o'clock here let's see what 10 o'clock shows 10 05 there's your 15 minutes like i was saying top of the hour 11 11 15 right here 13 14 15 away we go again like i said we can stay away from all this noise guys if you want to do even one trade a day and if it works great then then that's all you need and if you're taking a combine think about this for one hour every day forget about all this noise if you really want from here 11 till 12 one thousand dollars next day there's your 11 there's your 11 15 but 11 and then your 12 is bouncing in here there's your w pattern nine o'clock ten o'clock sell off ten fifteen is this ten o'clock ten ten seven six five four three two one there you go there's your ten o'clock move peaked up there boom ruler ten o'clock sell off set to ten thirty yeah so you have to watch when it moves that violence three thousand dollar move eleven o'clock again 11, 11, 15, that till, let's say we did it to 12. There you go. And that, and yesterday's, yesterday, because the last two days, it was pushing because of uh, part of the Reddit thing. So we weren't getting that push and it was an aggressive bar, right? So, and so, let's go back here. Eight, seven, eleven 7, 11 o'clock. 11.15, a little bit early. 11 o'clock, top of the hour. Support resistance right on the money. 11 till 12. Once again. Done. 173 points. 10 o'clock. 9.50, This one moved really fast at 10. Away you go again. But if we use this, that's 9.45 there. Yeah. But if we use that, in coordination with some of the volume, we, we can actually get into really good trades. Now, what I'm saying is there is a possibility for me today. We'll wait for market open because we are in the buy phase. But what I would like to see is if it 945 does hit and we play around in this zone, that's actually a 90 point move. Think about 11, 11 to, well, that's 200 points. That's one two a 50 point move because we're going so volatile we can maybe get our trade for the sell off not sure yet but because this market open and we are in high volatility we'll see what these guys do so if you have any questions feel free to ask guys um i'm gonna go grab a coffee i'll be back in a few minutes you guys if you guys want to watch the chart great if you want to sing along, kumbaya, whatever, <laughs> I'll be back. But yeah, we're, we'll look at top of the hour. The two areas I'm going to look at is top of the hour or this zone here for now. And we'll look at our times as well. Let's do this as well. Let's see where we are. I'm on, this is a one minute chart. And do I have a 15 second going? That's my other one minute. Five minute. There's that 15 second. I really got to get rid of that noise. Air horn. I'll use alien arm drum. Much quieter. There we go. Uh, I'm on the right chart here. And see what they're going to play. Negative energy. Hold down. Day trend is right up here. Ah, can't find it. Anyways, I'll give it some time here. I'm going to go like this for now. So you can see half and half. And I'll be back. Remember, look at this number, guys.
He's ugly. Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. No, not as fun. Alrighty. Okay. So what what I'm looking at. Let's go back here. So what I'm looking at here. We're going to give it some time to play. And as you can see, uh, my face is in the way. That's okay. The energy is starting to drop. A top Was this top of the hour? This was actually top of the hour at 9 o'clock. And see the sell-off? So what we're going to wait for is 10 o'clock to see exactly what's going to happen. Now what we're seeing right now is we're inside the cloud. Okay? We might see a bounce, reversal. And we have two areas of interest. We're already at negative 0.6. So, one area of interest. Whoops, wrong chart. Let me put back this chart again. One good possible area of interest. We'll see if, if they're going to vibrate and hold. This is actually where the market maker is. See, they're selling off in the market maker, but we're going in the cloud. So I'm going to stay away from that. But see, here's another area of interest where it could tap at uh, 12,906. But we are going to wait for all the games to be done. I don't want to play any more of these games with these guys. There's a new administration in town. We're still, I'm trying to still fill out uh, how the, these Wall Street boys are working. And we'll get her done. Now... See, look how tight this is. This was supposed to be 10 o'clock sell-off. So, we'll wait for the top of the hour for the sell-off. The other thing what we're going to do, let's start taking a look at, um, I'm going to bring in the other chart here. What's happening right now? Let's see what our analysis is. <laughs> wow, look at this. Isn't this crazy, guys? 99 points a minute it's moving two thousand dollars a minute or 93 ticks 20 20 that's just insane Man, it's, it's volatile okay so look at this if this is right we're at 50 percent retracement top of the hour 10 o'clock if this works this works really well so this this could be actually literally an inversion so we need to watch so it might go like this, 1 o'clock or 10 o'clock continuation down. But I'm not going to play their game. Cool. Okay. Look how many people are just coming and going. If they want to make their money right away, just be patient. Okay. Now what we're going to do... Do, 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 transition. Here we are. Five minute bar, very noisy. 120, 20, 40, 60, 80, getting into that zone of interest. Wow. So we're gonna give them some time. On the drop off. They're actually inverted on the on the on the date on the the buy trend right now. That's okay. And where are we right now? Try to break through the trend cloud. And how long has it been going up? It's quite flat actually. See? It's just starting to change going up. So let's see what these guys do. And we're not at top of the hour, we're at quarter. 45 minutes into it. And I'm going to switch. I have a 4 hour chart. I'm going to switch it to 15 on the other one for now. See how 10 o'clock sells a little bit early right now. Actually, it might bottom out. I'm going to put an F6 here. Somewhere in that zone down here. Let's see. I'll show you what I'm doing here right away here. Transition once again. So I switched my four hour chart for now to a 15 minute chart, and I want to see where all this support and resistance is. Volume point of control. And what I want to see is because we have 
uh, another 20 minutes before we can get to see exactly if these guys are going to punch it down. See, we've got one area, two areas, three areas, four areas. I think what they're going to do is just load up in this zone. We'll put a rectangle here. Let's do that. So we know the 15 minute chart. i to unlock it. Yeah, I'm on the right, right screen for you guys. 10 o'clock says it's supposed to sell, so she could break down. But you know what? I don't want to play that game. And let's see where they are. Making it as tight as possible. You know what I'm going to do here as well? Let's put Market Maker in here. So we can see where a lot of the Market Makers are. Oh, I got a lot of days on it. That's okay. But we'll see where the groupings are. I'll be 50. And we're right here. This is the area we were looking at. Maybe it will go down here, down here. It's too many of them. Control. Let's let's open it up and um, see. Okay, so there you go. This was previous market maker. So we're actually in yesterday's market maker zone of interest. It went a little bit farther down. So we'll right on the money. That's what they're gonna do. But we are breaking down quite aggressively because we're already down one percent. And what we're gonna also do, we're gonna wait till top of the hour. Oh, you know what? Actually, before the top of the hour, let's take a look at one thing here. I want to look at our volume. Is that the chart? There we go. Okay. Possibly of a buy. -in. Let's transition. Boom. High energy bar. High energy bar. This is what we got to look at, guys. We want to see a retracement here, and it might be first retracement, second retracement pop-up, because we're getting close to this zone here, and that's that rectangle we created, right? So we're waiting for them to move from 169 to we're already at 13,000, an area of interest, but too early into the time right now. Now, on our time scanner, let's see what our times are saying. I'm going to transition once again. Where is my transition? Which one is this? Before I transition, I gotta get the right chart here for you guys. Do 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 do. Is it this one? Fifteen second chart. Nine fifty sell off. Ten oh five. Possibly at ten oh five. This is on a five minute chart, but we're gonna look at the energies on that one. But see, they. I think they'll probably go down to here. But they're still playing. See, this is market maker, guys. And it could be another sell. So we don't know yet. It's too early, too early in the market for to know. But see how they're vibrating literally on the baseline. This is market maker zone, baseline. So they could be do another snap and then 10 o'clock sell off. We don't know. This could be just a snap snap down. Because it is a sell-off. We gotta wait. And then, let's see where they are here. Am I on the right chart? Yes. One minute. Let's go to the end. 9.50 buy, 10 o'clock sell, 10.15 possibly buy. See, they're already touching this zone here. But, let me look at the volume metrics. First volume metrics buy in. I could, I'm tempted to take it, guys, but I said I won't do it until top of the hour. I'm really tempted to take it, but I said I will wait till 10 o'clock this time. One thing I, I'm finding out using volumetrics is there we go. I'm just following this trend line here. 
Pearl. If it breaks, it's a good time to buy in. I should have got it back here. But we were they're tapping this this swing. I still think they want to do one more punch. I still think they're gonna go up, down, up. But not sure yet. But that little move doesn't look like much, guys. But if we got it as soon as that hit, we would have been down here, wherever it closed. See, that's a seven six hundred dollar move. Very aggressive uh, when you're using Nasdaq. But this is what I want to show you is, and then you let it run. But what we have to do is, it went one, two, big drop off. Come, it'll probably make a little peak like this, and then whoosh at ten o'clock. We'll find out here. They're playing these games right now. Actually, that is a big buy in. Now let them pull back. Now, okay, I want to teach you something. When they pull back, control here. If you're if you think you want to take the trade, see how it moved from 58 to 40? See this volume point of control right here? This is basically where you watch for a possibility of a buy limit. you got to watch it because it's so volatile, right, guys? And then what I do is I coordinate it with this to see what's happening. So 9.50 to 10 o'clock. I really want to take this trade, but I'm going to hold off. Ah. Because mm. I'm trying to teach you guys top of the hour trades. Okay. That little trade from there to there would have been already your six, seven hundred dollars. Let's see here. Yeah, six hundred so far. And you can close it. Yeah. Make your 600, done, walk away, go for coffee. But so what I'm looking at is this. See how the color went peak, peak, one, pull down, peak, peak, up, wall down. They're going to do another peak right about here and probably another big push. Sell off at 10 o'clock. We'll find out here. Or if it does start taking off like crazy, this is our kind of like our line in the sand because this is early enough into the buy phase we'll find out and if i did take this on the long if it keeps on going up i'll look at if it goes like crazy i look for these two zones for it to shut her down And now you want to see something interesting, guys? Well, we talked about that little $600 move. Okay, $950, pulling down. This is yesterday's... I always forget the color code on that. Where is it? Whoops, wrong chart again. Sorry, guys. I keep this. There it is. Yesterday's, what is it? Do, 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 do. Where are you? Oh, there it is. Oh, it doesn't say it on this one. This is a few days back. I think this is yesterday's open or close. I can't remember. Let's see what the indicator says. That's on market open. Open. Yesterday's open. There we go. I'm going to move this. I don't need to look at the uh, the bigger hour chart. We'll switch them back and forth on screens now. 
so you can see exactly what I'm trying to do here. So the interesting thing is 10 o'clock, we're really going to look at it. We're going to see, I'm going to be watching the volume, volume metrics. Got nine minutes. And then at 10 o'clock, 10, 15, we're going to really see if this thing wants to push up. If it's a really aggressive push up to here and then fire down, we'll find out. But see, this one hit literally at 945 again. Okay. So it's probably going to go 945, 10 o'clock. Watch this. Probably go up to here. Impulse move, right? Get back to get your position again and go again. We'll find out right away. And and let's switch it back. Transition. I wonder if uh, Trend Tracker will work on this well. Let's see what it does. So we can find a stop. Trend Tracker. So trend tracker just bounced. Let's see if it maybe goes up to that zone we're we're talking about. Wouldn't that be nice if it gets there just by the top of the hour for the pull down? And look at this. Trend tracker literally touched here for the sell-off. And then of course they break through. Now you're buying they put on the sell-off here. They'll touch this and we'll we'll find out here. Well, let's see how nice this trend tracker was on just a little bit earlier. Yeah, I'm on the right chart. Okay. That was your breakdown at, well, of course, top of the hour. Boom. Um, where was this at, though? 56 volume. A few minutes before. Look at that move within five minutes. Insane. Okay. That's your Robin Hood move. And you know that was your sell-off. And today could possibly be W pattern. We'll find out. Top of the hour. What they want to do. But it looks like. I don't know. There's a lot of consolidation. Uh, let's go transition here. See all this consolidation here? Unless it goes right down to here at 8 o'clock to point. Or 10 o'clock, sorry. So like this. Find out. And what I'm going to wait for is the, these color codes here. See? We're too weak right now. See, that was the trade originally, guys. At, at, at 9.45. Now we're going to wait till 10 o'clock to see if it just does this little stupid thing for another major sell-off. It did that yesterday, actually. Look at yesterday. Not on top of the hour. Or was it? I think it was around 11 o'clock. That's it. Where was it? Did a really good snap like that. And I'm starting to understand these these things are kind of like... Uh, if you're looking at volume, it went green and then red, we think, and then comes back here. Look at this. It's like a W pattern. Isn't that crazy? And so this was extreme, and then it was just slowly, but you can see the mini uh, energy of volume pattern. That's it. First move, second move, divergence, way we go. I want to find it. Let's see, it happened yesterday. I saw it yesterday, or was it two days ago? Alrighty. Hello, Heinz. This is Mike here. You can call me Mark. I've heard other names, but anyways. <laughs> I'm happy you found the channel, Heinz. So, Heinz, today, what we're trying to do is I'm trying to teach guys a little bit on the NASDAQ. High volatility. Yesterday, I lost some money, and then I gained it back later on in the day. Uh, because I misread my chart here. And I'm trying to teach you guys about this high energy. There is a new update, Heinz. There's a new update on the discord because I put color codes in here and we've got four minutes till top of the top of the hour we're gonna find out 
what the energy is if this thing is going to start reversing. Okay? If it does, we might be able to get a really good short end. It looks like it wants to go long. It's playing games. And what we're doing... Let's see if I can find that one chart here. We're, we're still literally in the baseline cloud. And now I'm hearing... I'm not sure if you can hear that alien drum sound going on there. We had high energy going up. Okay, sounds good. So, and there was also a 2021 template in chart templates I put in there. I'll be back. Jeez, one second. Get that paper. Okay, top of the hour, 0.44. Okay, so what, what I'm looking for here, well, let's a right chart here. Okay, what I'm looking for here is I want to see if the energy goes up. I would love to see it do a really big spike right now of high energy, first pull back, and then on this chart here, because we're just we're still within that cloud, get back to... Here's our market maker, guys. Let's go down. Oops. Open this up. Market maker line. Look at all these stop outs. They need that liquidity. They can go snap, bang. This is what I'm looking for for top of the hour. We're almost at 10 o'clock. Don't sell now. Don't sell yet. And let's see what our energy looks like. Still pushing up. See? Up, down, up. Actually, two bottoms there. So it could reverse on us. We'll find out. We'll see if it gets within this zone here. Let me use a slower candle. That's high frequency. High frequency. And this is one minute chart. We'll see where they are in the one minute. Looking at all the high frequencies here. This is still halfway through. It actually still might even be going up for a while. Son of a gun. Uh, 1048, 951 fail. We'll find out here. This could be just boom. Yeah, she's peeking out. And let's go back to this one. Don't like being in the cloud though, guys. We're at 50%, 61% retracement. And am I on the right chart? Let's go switch to this one. That's a shame. Going to be looking at this energy still. This is the first key energy. When we look at this energy start changing, then that's our possibility to start the reversal. And then we're going to look at the other candles because we're at 10 o'clock top the hour. Going for a walk? There you go. The boss is going for a walk. There she goes. Alrighty. Let's see what these guys want to do here. So we're looking at this zone now. This is where I screwed up yesterday, right? But if I took that trade originally from there to there, I would have made my points. But now we're going to wait for the second round. And it looks like we'll have a really aggressive support resistance here, but we'll find out. Yeah, it's trying to sell. And 
And then, where are we right now? A lot of support and resistance there. I'm going to transition so you see what I'm looking at. 10.01 to 10.10, but that's fine. We're just letting them play that game. What's our energy? I'm going to switch again. Our energy wasn't right yet, guys. So our energy was 27.31. Still pushing up yet. Give it some time. And what we do, volume point of control, volume point of control, volume point of control. So this is an area here. This is the area where the three volume point of controls are. There's two up here. So let's do these two here. So I want to wait. For that opportune moment. Somewhere within that zone. And you can see there's a lot of volume point of control in these three zones here. Coordinated with our time. Look at my time here. Still playing. Looks like it wants to break down, but you said guys, we don't have that energy yet. What's our time for buying and selling? Hopefully I'm right. 1010 10 buy, I don't like that. 938 work, 1050, 10 is 1010, 10, 10, 30, 141. We'll find out here. It looks like they're trying to buy, but they're holding it down. See? They're trying to buy, snap it down. They're trying to buy, snap it down. If we want to be safe for a little bit, we can put it just below these three boxes and hopefully it gets sell off. Got to see what this energy is. Look at that. Uh, we're at 3,500 contracts. Come on, don't break down it until four. Okay, 41, 47, 42. Let's see what my energy is on this chart. Still holding. Is it 10, 10 buy? Do that. The next number says here. Forty six, sixty two, seventy seven, eighty six. Almost at five thousand contracts here. So uh, are we at ten fifteen? We're at ten oh five. Getting ready for a sell. I'm gonna put a sell stop just for now. And I'll see what the energy is. So she's getting close to that area. Did it go up higher? Ah, got to pull it up. Not ready yet. I'm not doing it. Might go down. It is going to go down, but she's playing still. Still have a lot of energy going up. I don't need to get sniffed out yet. 40, 75, 31. Let them play this game yet. 834, 1,000 contracts already. A lot of contracts there. Yeah, she's ready to break down. Let's give it some time. I want to see a weakening, weakening number. It's not as aggressive as these three bars. These are my favorite ones. So, yeah, I could have got it. So I'll let them tap. We can get in soon. We'll let them bounce up a bit here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five. How many inch volume do we have here? We're already at 2,000. Okay, I'm going to try it. Now hopefully I'm right. And what we can do, 75... See if I can get about 300 bucks in.
There you go. $350. Done. This is what I mean by just day trading if you can make $300 a day. It's going to probably go a little bit more. It, that snapped a little earlier on my energy line. But what you can see is she, she's going to... This is what they're doing here, guys, is um, they're offloading really quick. There's no buyers. So what they're doing is they're going to go here. They're going to bounce up again. Usually they'll do one more bounce up. And see the energy just switched. I would rather see... This is my favorite one. So... This wasn't strong enough, but I knew you could see by price action she was ready to drop. But now 1010 is coming in there, and we got to find out because we're kind of in that gray zone. But uh, like I said, I only do what I'm only going to be doing one trade a, a day live. This one was successful. Yesterday was a proper, and then I had to recover my costs and then go on profit. But what I want to do is hey, is there. I'm going to ask you, is there anybody that's connected to Reddit that can actually text? I tried to do it Reddit this morning and I couldn't do anything. They wouldn't allow me. I have not enough karma. You know? You know, it's just, uh... Let me see here. Look at me. I got great karma. I might dress ugly, but I got great karma. <laughs> so, so anyways, uh... If, if anybody can text, I, I got to get a text out there. I got an idea. And uh, I want to post it out to those Reddit guys and see if there's any other good traders out there. And I, I want to see if I can do, hopefully, maybe a 24-hour channel because there's traders all 24 hours a day. And I'm going to filter out some of these good traders. And so, and I'm going to focus, of course, on the futures market. And I'll say, you know... I'll give these guys two or three hour blocks so we can learn a lot of different methodologies, guys. This is what I want, but they wouldn't allow me to post. So if anybody can post, just email me so I can get that out there. Alrighty. But lastly is see this little $300 move. Bada bing, bada boom. I was looking at this once again. 10 o'clock, we know top of the hour. Breaking down. This could be a W coming back up. We don't know. And we didn't have, where is it? Let's go again here. Did not have, well, like I said, where I screwed up yesterday. Yes, you can. No problem. No problem at all. No problem at all. Just make sure, guys, when you look at these energies, and when I'm talking about these energies, top of the hour. You can do 15 minutes, but I'm not going to teach anything about 15s at the time. Top of the hour, this energy, as you can see, wasn't strong, but I knew there was going to be a snap back at 10, and I wanted to take that, take that opportunity, and I'm waiting. So at 11 o'clock, maybe the 11 o'clock W pattern that Jose always talks about, Will hit maybe up to here maybe it takes off to here we don't know we are actually on a selling opportunity so and there's the w pattern 10 10 actually 10 10 signal you know what i'm going to show you guys time scatter it, on if you if you're doing micros look at this 10 10 boom this is the one i took it's of the energy but 1001 worked 10 10 that move alone guys look at this she's following it 31 points. Now 10 10 is taken off, getting back to the point of control. Okay, guys, I'm taking off here. Other than that, uh, just make sure you pinpoint your trades, trade safe, and you guys have a great day. Take care.